Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala Oman. Welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you introduction to algorithm and flowchart. Once again, I repeat the topic: introduction to algorithm and flowchart. First, let me see the objectives. The objectives are introduction to algorithm, how to write an algorithm, introduction to flowchart, how to draw a flowchart. First. we'll discuss introduction to algorithm what is an algorithm an algorithm is a detailed sequence of simple steps that are needed to solve a problem if you want to solve a problem in terms of programming first step you want to do is you want to write an algorithm an algorithm is defined as a step by step sequence of instructions that describes how the data are to be processed to produce the desired result we want to instruct the computer how to process the data at each steps it's nothing but algorithm now we are going to see an example for algorithm write an algorithm to find the sum of two numbers so we want to add two numbers so what are the things we need we need two values to add so now we are going to start the algorithm The first step of algorithm is start and we are in need of two values so we should accept two values num1 and num2 and we are going to add the two values and we are going to store the value in sum so step 3 and we are going to display the result to the user in step 4 and last step is going to be start in all algorithm the first step is start and last step is stop Now write an algorithm to find the total and average of three quizzes. So now we are going to find the average and total for three quizzes. So let us say the quiz one will be Q1 and quiz two will be Q2 and quiz three is Q3. So now we are going to start the algorithm. The first step is start. And how many values we are in need of? We are in need of three values. Let us say accept Q1. Q2 and Q3. Step 3, we want to calculate the total. Total equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. And how to find out the average? Average equal to total divided by number of subjects or number of quiz. How many quizzes or there are three quizzes, so total divided by 3. So step 5, you want to display the total and average to the user. Step 6, stop. And now one more example write an algorithm to accept the quantity comma rate and display the amount yes as usual step 1 is start and step 2 accept the quantity and step 3 accept the rate and step 4 amount equal to quantity into rate and you are going to display the amount in step 5 and step 6 is going to stop and now write an algorithm to determine the students final grade and indicate whether it is passing or failing the final grade is calculated as the average of 4 marks so now we are going to calculate the grade using grade we are going to check if the student is pass or fail so step 1 as usual start and step 2 how many inputs we are in need we are in need of four inputs let us say mark 1 mark 2 mark 3 and mark 4 and grade equal to the average m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 divided by 4 which will give you the average sorry grade now we are going to check the grade if grade is less than 50 then we are going to print fail else we are going to print pass so end if it's a end of the if statement and step 5 is going to stop now we are moving to flowchart What is a flowchart? A flowchart is a design tool used to graphically represent the logic. In a solution, it is a pictorial representation or graphical representation of an algorithm. If you want to plot your algorithm using diagrams, we can call it as flowchart. It's a pictorial representation of an algorithm. So, these are the frequently used flowchart symbols. Let us say terminal, input and output. process flow lines decision connector and predefined process 
The description, the symbol name terminal, indicates the beginning or end of an algorithm. Input and output indicates an input or output operation. Process indicates computational or data manipulation. Flow lines connects the flowchart symbols and indicate the logic flow. Decision indicate a program branch point connector indicates an entry to or access from another port of the flowchart or a connection point. Predefined process indicates a predefined process as in calling a function. Now we are going to draw a flowchart to find the sum of two numbers. Anyway, the first step in algorithm is start and how many values we are in need of? We are in need of two values. Let us say num1 and num2. And third step is we want to find out the sum, sum equal to num1 plus num2. And step 4, we are going to print the output, the sum. And step 5, stop. And next is draw a flowchart to find the average and total of three quizzes the same so first is going to be start so three quizzes let us say q1 q2 q3 you want to accept you want to get the input from the user q1 comma q2 comma q3 so total equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 and average equal to total divided by number of subject here the number of subjects are three so divided by three so step 4, you are going to print the total and average. Step 5, stop. So now, we want to draw a flowchart to determine the student's final grade and indicate whether it is passing or failing. The final grade is calculated as average of 4 marks. So first, we want to start the flowchart by using the start symbol in how many inputs we are in need of we are in need of four inputs let us say m1 m2 m3 and m4 now we want to find out the grade grade equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus m4 divided by 4 now we are going for a logical condition if grade is less than 50 if this condition is true the output fail will be printed if this condition is false, the output pass will be printed. Anyway, the last step is going to be start. If it is true or false, the last step is going to be stop. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.